Welcome to Fun With Retail's I Don't Work Here Lady. I've collected stories from subscribers and also some from Reddit that I hope you enjoy. So if you have a story, please keep sending those in. I really enjoy reading them. I want to thank everyone who sends in their submissions. I like reading those more than I do Reddit posts, so keep sending those stories in. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm a security guard that works with a company that contracts us to other companies. The contract I was on was with a cannabis store. Everyone who enters gets ID'd to make sure that it's valid. As I am not an actual employee of the cannabis store, I don't actually take the IDs. I just stand or sit there at the entrance just in case something goes wrong. This is between the front door and the door leading into the lobby, where people just sit to wait for a guide to show them what's in stock and about the product itself. About four hours into my 12 hour shift, a man enters the building and he's asked for his ID and his response was, are you f***ing kidding me? He gives his ID and is allowed in, but before he enters, he turns to me and says, do you get paid to sit there? Luckily, the guide was ready for him to come in. A few minutes later, he storms out of the entrance, and we try to tell him he can't leave this way, and he says some rude remarks that I can't remember, and he leaves. When his guide came out, we found out the conversation she had with him, and it went like this. So what are you looking for? Pot. What type of cannabis are you looking for? There are different strands. Just give me some f***ing pot. She tries telling him about strands, and he gets ticked off. Oh, f*** this. And he storms out of the entrance. She quickly says, You can't go that way, the exit is this way. And he cuts her off. I'm f***ing done. And leaves. After that, an email was sent to all the cannabis stores about him, so that he could be issued a trespassing notice, if it was to happen again. So, for a little bit of backstory, this happened about a year ago. I've always been a tall guy, and people generally think that I'm older. During this time, I was just 15. Now I'm 16. In my family, there's a little bit of Asian blood. So sometimes, members of my family are born with Asian-looking eyes, and I am one of those. Sometimes I get confused as Asian, even though I am from Central America. Also, the day in question, I had just participated in a JKA, or Japanese Karate Association, karate tournament. In there you get a white t-shirt with the JKA logo and some Japanese letters. I was wearing this at the time. Now to the story. The tournament ended late at night, and my dad, mom, and I were hungry. So we decided to eat at a Chinese restaurant. In the restaurant, the staff's uniforms were similar to my t-shirt. It was white with some Chinese letters and the restaurant's logo. While eating, I ran out of soda, so I decided to go refill it. Midway to the soda machine, a couple stopped me. I looked at them both, and the lady said, The food is wonderful. Can you please give us a menu? We want to order something sweet. Also, could you pick up the plates? I look at her trying to understand what was going on. Then a member of the staff passed by and understood she was confusing me for one of the staff members. So I replied, Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm not a staff member. Um, by your t-shirt, it becomes clear that you are a member of the staff. And you seem Asian like all the other staff. If you are lazy or something, it's not my problem. Now you do what my wife said. I looked at them both thinking, well, looking Asian doesn't make me part of the staff. And I decided not to repeat that I wasn't a staff member. The lady looked at me with a killer look and said, Okay, don't worry. Could you please call your manager? I looked at her and simply said, Well, I don't work here, so I don't have a manager. Okay, I'm done. First you say you don't work here, now you say you don't have a manager? Yep, because I don't work here. Bye. Then I start to walk away. Now all this time, my parents thought I knew them, since they were not screaming. My parents hadn't heard the conversation. That was until I started to walk away. The husband took my arm and said loudly, Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? We aren't done yet. My dad got angry when he saw this. He rushed to the table, but before he could arrive to the table, the manager comes up to us. Hello, I'm the manager. Can you please tell me what's the inconvenience? He asked politely. Yeah, this freaking member of your staff claims that he's not one. 
and he doesn't want to do his job. Hmm, I see. You know, sir, he is not a member of the staff. And following our policy, you're going to need to pay for your food and leave. They both looked at the manager with cold eyes, but they followed the manager's instructions. After that, the manager apologized to us and gave us a little discount on our food. I've never seen the couple again, but every time I look at my t-shirt, I get flashbacks. A little background. This happened about three or four years ago. I'm a five foot four, kind of plump girl. At the time, I had long brown hair that almost went down to my butt. I'm a huge fantasy nerd, and Renfest are one of my favorite things to do. I especially love dressing up, which I suppose was my downfall. The festival was having a bring your pet day, and my family was super excited to go with their fluff balls. I even made leashes for all of our dogs. They matched the outfit to the family members. Anyway, I digress. I was walking around by myself at one point with a very well-groomed fluffy pup at my side and I was dressed in a full red and gold fair maiden type garb. I was walking along checking out some of the booths and stands. Some people asked for pictures a couple of times, but otherwise no one paid me any mind. Then it happened. I was browsing a corset stand and I felt a tap on my shoulder. I turned around to see an older kind of big lady, maybe her early 50s, giving me an expectant glare. There's a turkey leg stand. I was a little confused, and the booths changed spot pretty much every year, so sometimes it would be hard to find them. I, myself, am not partial to turkey, so I really didn't pay any attention to them. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't work here. I'm just here to enjoy the fest. I give her my most polite smile, and I start to turn back to browsing. Before I'm able to turn around, she grabs my shoulder. You obviously work here. You're dressed up and you have a sideshow pet. Where's the stand? I want to turkey leg. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't work here. Try asking one of the people behind the store counters. They'll probably know. After this, I just wanted to get out of there. The lady was visibly upset, and it looked like she hadn't heard a word I said. As I was moving on, she was following behind huffing and puffing, while muttering under her breath. <laughs> Here's where I made the second mistake. Is there a particular reason why you're following me? You're kind of starting to agitate my dog. He was twisting in circles around my legs, and he started to whine. You're taking me to the turkey leg stand, right? No, I wasn't. I told you I don't work here, and I don't know where it is. I'm just trying to shop. No respect. Where's the person in charge of you and your little outfit of freaks? Last time, lady, I don't work here. I don't know where to get the stupid turkey legs. Leave me be. At this point, the owner of one of the nearby stands comes over to ask her, What's going on? The lady starts going on about how I was, No help. And that, She should have been trained better. Yada, yada, yada. I see my chance to slip away while the woman goes on her tirade. Later, after rejoining my family, I see her wandering around with a turkey leg in her hand. I wanted to say I wasn't slightly petty, but this lady really made me mad. And this was at my favorite event. She spotted me walking with my family, and she glared. I glared right back, and I smugly flipped her off. She got mad, and she turned around in a huff. <laughs> Every year since then, it hasn't been a problem. So this happened a couple of hours ago, around 9 p.m. I have a crazy craving for Brock's Conversation Hearts. You know, the little candy hearts that taste like chalk that nobody seems to like. But I'm that weirdo who does. After having visited four stores, I had almost given up. Until I made my last ditch effort, which was to go to Walmart. Since I hated going to that store, I did have some other shopping to do. But unless I had my hearts in my hand, I wasn't going to grab a cart. I managed to find a guy who actually worked there, and he was really nice. He showed me where the hearts were, and I grabbed five bags since I'm a sugar fiend, so I head off to grab a cart. After grabbing a cart, I'm grabbing some stuff like you naturally do at Walmart. Prior to leaving, my mom had asked me to get her some cookies, so I'm by the bakery taking pictures of them and sending them off. When I grab whatever items I'm going to buy, I always grab the items at the bottom because I always think that not as many people have messed with it. While I'm at it, I try to make the table and the cookies look a little bit nice for the next person. I walk over to my cart, which was right next to where the butter was. This Walmart is really weird and small. And I was looking at my phone and jotting off what I still needed here. No less than five seconds do I hear a very loud, 
Excuse me? Now, I had not looked up because I foolishly thought that it had nothing to do with me. When I heard it again, I began to feel a little bit frightened, but I still kept my head down and pretended to be an ostrich. And the third time that was followed by a banshee cry was a forced shove of my cart into my gut. Here's the following exchange. You finally look up. I need to find something. And if you don't look down at your phone so much, maybe you can actually do your job. Look, I don't work here, lady. I actually said those words. Yeah, you do. Don't lie. I... Then I cut her off at this point. Look, I'm wearing a picture of two disco balls, and each of them are on my tits. Do you see any other employees with disco tits? Do you? While I was saying this, I pulled my jacket back so that you could see that I indeed had disco balls on my tits. Well, you were stocking the table there. Why else would you clean it up? Maybe because I like to be a decent person? By this point, the cool employee who helped me find the candy had walked up and asked what was going on. Before I could, she told him, This worker's being lazy. She should be fired. Then she went to knock down all the butter on the shelf, but instead she hit her hand on the metal shelf. <laughs> Her cries of pain were so loud, it nearly shattered my eardrums. I stepped back, and so did the employee. We were both afraid to do anything. This had caused quite a bit of a commotion, and the other shoppers were looking. She clutched her hand and started wailing. She did this to me! The security guard, who had been at the front of the store, came over and did not have one ounce of sympathy for her. He told her that since she was disruptive to the other shoppers, and that she purposefully tried to destroy merchandise, she could either leave willingly, or he would physically escort her out. While she was walking out, she began calling all three of us all sorts of names. She started screaming stuff like, You guys are asshole pieces of shit. You all should be fired. I'm gonna call Cooler Brit because you guys are assholes. I was apologized to and offered a discount, which was nice, but I declined. I was just happy this experience was over, and it felt like a bad dream. I am now at home in bed, typing this out, and eating my candy. My husband and I went to a great American wholesale store. It was packed. I couldn't find one item I wanted on the first pass through, but I was worried about making it to an appointment on time. So I said to forget it, and we got in line to check out. There were three people ahead of us, all with packed carts. So I decided to run back and to check the aisles that I didn't check before so I could find it. I didn't find the thing I wanted, but I did find a giant bottle of hot sauce for cheap. So I grabbed it and I hustled back to the front. This is where a crazy lady who just wants to be mad at the world comes in. I'm weaving my way through the madness and finally get to my husband who had just reached the conveyor belt. You know, the things where you load your groceries so they can be scanned. I showed off the bottle of hot sauce that I found, and I put it with the other stuff. When this woman started snapping her fingers at me, except I didn't realize she was doing it to me, because the place was a madhouse, right up until it was two inches from my face. Excuse me, if you're giving him something, can you get me a bag of potatoes? The red ones, not yellow. Granted, this place didn't have a uniform, and we live in an area that hair dyed in unnatural colors with a lot of piercings and tattoos are common. It's not like I couldn't be employed, except I was missing a name tag and I'm pretty sure the employees don't go fetching items. I was just gaping at her while my brain was attempting to figure out the situation but fortunately my husband stepped in and said she doesn't work here. She's my wife. She was just getting one more thing and you're being incredibly rude. Instead of apologizing and being embarrassed like a sane person this woman then puffs up her chest and flares her nostrils. Well then you're cutting in line. My husband pointed out I've been with the cart the whole time. She literally just got one more thing. At this store, you could buy a bunch of stuff in bulk. So most people had a large packed shopping cart. One single item is nothing. It would only add like a second or two. Somehow, being called out made this woman fly into a rage and she went storming off. I'm gonna go find the manager. This is ridiculous. Leaving her cart unattended. So once my husband and I had all of our stuff ready to check out, the guy behind this crazy woman passed her unattended cart and started putting his own stuff on the conveyor belt. I'm gonna go find the manager. This is ridiculous. <laughs> kind of sound like an angry SpongeBob.
If you enjoyed these stories, please leave a like and subscribe for more. All stories from Reddit and other external sites are linked in the description below. If you have any stories you'd like to share, you can send it to my email at funwithfailure at gmail.com.